My name is Hank, and this is my Meyer story. The week I was born is the same week we opened store number six, a supermarket at Michigan and Fuller Avenue in Grand Rapids. In fact, my mom was working on the ad for that opening at, the, at a card table in our living room when it was time for her to go to the hospital. So I've never lived without feeling like Meyer was a part of my life. I was 11 years old when my dad decided it was time to work in the store. And I would work in the bottle return area of that same Michigan and Fuller supermarket. So I started there on a very, very part-time basis. Our store at Michigan and Fuller burned down. There was an attempted robbery and an, uh, someone trying to get into the safe with a welding torch set the store on fire. And I remember we had a, what we called a home center in the basement of that store where we sold all kinds of non-food products. And I remember going through and finding old records that had been warped by the heat. And um, the ground was, was thick with ashes and fire hose water. And just the drama of being in the store right after the fire. Some things change and some things stay the same. What stays the same is trying to take care of our customers each day as they come through the door, worrying about our competitors. But what's changed, well, most significantly, the sheer size of the company. It was in 1962, I was 10 years old, when we underwent a real revolution, going from what had been traditional supermarkets to this thing we called Thrifty Acres, the self-service discount department store with the hometown touch. That was a real mouthful and it was a really big deal to start selling everything under one roof many years before the word supercenter was even invented. And we were trying to sell appliances and carpeting and all kinds of other things. What belongs under one roof most conveniently for our customers? As the company has grown, the other thing that makes it special is knowing that we're awfully important in the lives of a lot of people. That even as we depend on our customers, our customers and our communities begin to depend on us and look to us if we're doing our jobs right. I can't tell you how many people say, I just started at Meyer for a summer job, or I just wanted to pick up a little extra money over the holidays, and 40 years later, we're celebrating an anniversary. None of us expected that. And then other people who did work part-time for us or help pay their way through college, many years later, I'll run into somebody and they'll say, you know, if it wasn't for Meyer, I couldn't have gone to college. Or, you know, I just worked there for a summer, but I never forgot it. And so it's that combination of the team you work with, who are just good folks, and then the ability to really make a difference in the communities where we operate stores, that combination makes it really special.